Night snow caused slippery roads and accidents all over the area. It's not the first time, of course, that we've seen slick roads this winter. One woman flipped her car on an icy road nearly two weeks ago. A water main broke on Woodruff Street, turning the road into a sheet of ice. That woman is now at home, and she tells KDKA she thinks the crash could have been prevented. Megan Schiller has the exclusive interview. Kelly Marsusi says she is thankful to be alive and on the road to recovery, but she still has a lot of questions, like why the road that she wrecked on was open the night of the crash. I hit and then I rolled. I don't remember none of that. I don't remember the point of impact. I don't remember that. I just remember laying there and I smelt smoke. Her airbags deployed, windows burst, and Kelly Masusi found herself open, hanging upside down. When I found the door, the door handle was at the bottom and I had to reach down to grab it. That's when I realized like, hey, wait a minute, I'm on top, I'm, I'm upside down. Masusi's car hit ice, turning onto Woodruff Street, sending her barreling out of control towards the Wabash Tunnel. And around 11 at night, many hours, she says, after neighbors first reported the water main break. The city encourages us to call 311. Hey, as a community, if something's going wrong in the community, you have to call 311 and, you know, we put the ball in your hands and you guys drop the ball and all you had to do was block off the road. The day of the crash, Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority set a plan to investigate its response to the break. We followed up and were told that crews applied salt to the road three hours before Masusi crashed. PWSA then directed us to call the Public Works Department for an answer as to why no one closed the road. Doesn't make me angry, doesn't make me anything. Made me angry would make me bitter. Not bitter. I'm here, I'm blessed. You know, my son has me, but it makes me, it, it saddens me to know that it took this for them to just go and put a barricade up. And Marsusi says she does plan to sit down with her attorney this week. She isn't sure exactly what she wants to come out of that, but she does say she would at least like an apology. Reporting in Mount Washington, Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.